Hey guys, in this video, I'll be going over the solution to the problem in Co-Prime 2 from Adcore Beginner Contest 215. So we're basically given an array of n integers and we're given a variable m. For every number between 1 and m, we have to check whether the GCD of every element in that array with that number is 1. So let's just go over the samples once. So we have three elements in this array. And we have to check from for every number from 1 to 12 whether the GCD of every number with that number is equal to 1. So in the sample output, we can see we have 1, 7, and 11. And the GCD of every number in this list and every number in this initial array is equal to 1. So how do we actually solve this problem now? So in, in problems like these, this one, it's a very useful idea to think of numbers in terms of their prime factorization. And because the GCD of two numbers is greater than one when they have a prime factor in common. For example, if we look at these two numbers, The first one being 12 and the second one being 10. We can see that their GCD is greater than 1 because they have a prime factor in common. And if two numbers don't have a prime factor in common, their GCD has to be equal to 1. That's really the only knowledge you need to solve this problem. So how do you actually calculate the prime factors of a number? One simple way to do this is to use the C of Eratosthenes. And compute for each number the smallest prime that divides it. And what we can do with this is we can basically just prime factorize the number. So we'll take the number and then we will keep on dividing the number by its smallest prime factor. Let me just show you the code for that. So this is our pre-computation. This is like sieve like pre-computation. So we take each number and we divide it by its smallest prime factor until it while the number is still greater than one and then we just return the factors array so how do we actually compute the smallest prime factor we can just do it as we would compute our prime sieve if you don't already know what that is i'll leave a link to a tutorial down in the description below but yeah in n log n we can basically compute the smallest prime factor for each element this way um, after that, the problem is very simple because we can factorize a number in O of log number. So that's just an upper bound though. It'll be pretty fast. And our numbers are less than a million, I think. So yeah, it'll be pretty fast. Right. So for every number in the input, we want to see what prime factors it has. Because every number must have a GCD of 1 with the chosen number. So we really don't want any num any prime factor in the input to be in the number we're selecting so we can just maintain a count of the prime factors that appear in the input and for every number from 1 to m we can find its prime factorization and if any of the primes that appear in its factorization are already present in our input array and by that i mean as a factor of an element in our input array then this element definitely can't be in our answer because it'll have a gcd greater than one with at least one element in our array so we can just check that using these valid using this valid variable um, after that we can just add it to our answer array and later print it if we find that it works so yeah this is a pretty simple problem if it's more like a do you know how to compute the prime factorization of a number thing
So yeah, thanks for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'll also be posting a video for the next problem, which is E. It's a pretty good DP problem. So yeah, watch that if you're interested.